we are. I'm the data science director, and um, uh, I'm not been actually here for quite some time. Uh, I actually disappeared for a month plus. It's because uh, things have been busy at uh, work. Uh, so busy that some of us cannot actually sleep. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so basically what we do is uh, we focus on uh, developing uh, machine learning models and data uh, dashboarding. Uh, so that's actually our operation. So Auckland, Australia, Singapore, and India, all right. And that's actually our partner, all right. I see. Cool. So basically, uh, this is actually our pillar. So retail, e-commerce, hotel, and logistic. Okay. And uh, as a service as a whole, just focus on the uh, square bracket, customer analytics, marketing analytics, digital and social media analytics, and the supply chain optimization. All right? And uh, this is actually uh, not our customer, but our expertise, which means um, customers which some of our team members actually served before we actually joined the company. So uh, some, some people actually ask me, so Jared, how do you differentiate yourself as a data scientist with other data scientists? This is how I differentiate myself, okay? Some of the um, companies like, for example, Samsung, I have actually machine learning model down there. Uh, some of the companies, some of the machine learning models are still running live for that for three years. Scoring all of you, I can't actually dis disclose which one. <laughs> it's scoring all of you, so it's kind of sensitive, all right? So uh, this is actually a team which is uh, SC, uh, he's Subhijit, so uh, easier for me to call him, SC, he's the CEO. I know him in AC Nielsen, uh, so both of us actually have 14 years experience and then he actually oversees uh, the India market and UAE market. I oversee South Asia and then uh, I managed to bring in Mike Lobo, who is actually a business veteran and then he's actually our CMO. So uh, the the philosophy of me actually having a team is that we cannot actually have everyone thinking the same way. So that's why we have a mixture of business and uh, tech people. And then this is actually the layout of our entire structure. So SC actually have a business team and a tech team. Yeah. So uh, Francisco is the CDO, Chief Data Officer. He sits in Australia. And then he sits uh, right below Mike Lobo uh, Command uh, in Auckland. Uh, there are actually around uh, six data scientists, cloud engineer here. So including me with SC, with Reddy, Rabia, and Sumitro, and uh, Francisco, uh, all of us actually have a mixture of skill set of data science and cloud engineering. So of 10 to 14 years experience. So just in case, if you can't find any data scientists and uh, cloud engineer, I'm sorry, maybe all of us are here. <laughs> all right, so uh, that's actually our company, and then that's that. Uh, let me just actually give uh, a demo of one software that we have. Before I go to that, so a lot of people know that I've actually had done a Shopee event. So this is the next event I will be at, which is actually a star uh, presentation. So you can actually see big data for big profit by Catalytic Starter. I'm actually the invited data science speaker for a star event. All right. The previous one was Alibaba. Uh, for the CISO level, uh, so data science uh, speaker. That's why I don't carry name card because my name card actually run out very fast. So I go digital, all right? So, uh, sorry about that. Another thing about us is that we um, managed to actually sign a um, partnership with a hotel uh, company. A actually, it's a platform that actually links with uh, all hotels globally. Uh, that's why we are busy. My CEO say that he can already cannot catch up with my speed already. That's what he say. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to actually showcase one of the product that we have. As you know, data science as a service is very easy, but data science as a product is always a challenge. All right. So what we have here, you can see that this is actually Amazon, right? This is actually the uh, Fujifilm camera, and then this actually costs how much? Forty-seven dollars. Correct? $47. Now, if you actually find the exact same product on Lazada, it will cost $92. Is it worth it? All right? Now, out of so many SKU in Amazon, how do I know specifically that this is 50% cheaper in Amazon for you to see? All right? That's because 
of this product that we have. It's actually a very uh, interesting product that is born out of uh, thin air because a customer actually came to me and said, Jared, I want to know the entire world purchasing trend, but I don't have data. Can you help me? So what I did was that I pinned out, I panned out and say, okay, you want to know US? Amazon. You want to know China? Taobao. You want to know France? Price Minister. You want to know Thailand? Tura.com. I was from Rakuten last time. So for the past three years over there, merchants always have an issue. They don't know what to sell. They don't know the pricing. They don't know where to expand to. And they actually eventually just go out of business because they don't know why people don't buy from them. Even with a lot of SEO, SEM traffic come to the website, they still don't actually have purchase. Because there will always be the big boys, Amazon, that will always refresh the price based on real life timing that they will check other e-commerce major website and change their price accordingly. No e-commerce merchant can catch up with the kind of speed. So what we have here is to actually give a slight advantage to you. So it is actually all the information from the best seller of Amazon is directly obtained from Amazon. These are all actually the best seller over there. All right. Currently, what I actually only have focus on is Fujifilm. You can actually just uncheck everything and you can see that this is actually a top 100 selling product over there. It refresh hourly, okay? And you know what to sell. Not only that, you know the pricing as well. You can see that over here. Fujifilm, Ice Blue Camera, $77 on Amazon. That was the last obtained information. Now it's $40 over dollars. What is the rating? 4.3. So you know that's actually the rating and that's actually the pricing of the product. So you better don't actually sell your camera at $150. You become the most expensive camera there. Okay? So then, of course, the next question is, the merchant will ask, can I actually get there uh, somewhere cheaper? That's why we have compare with Lazada. And compare with Lazada, we just actually uh, click off a few tab over there. You can see, this is the pricing for Amazon, $77. This is the pricing for Lazada, $95. You saw it, $92, right? That's actually the pricing that you see on the last obtained information. All right, so these are only two modules. There are actually three more modules. Third module is actually customer feedback. Anyone actually read 10 pages of customer feedback before? How about your competitors one times 10 more? There'll be 100 pages of feedback. No, right? Okay. So we are able to summarize it for you into keywords for you to compare which are the SQ that is actually of what kind of weakness and strength. Then you know if you want to penetrate into China or you want to penetrate into US, how to actually tackle the top merchants over there. That's the third module. Fourth module, competitors watch. If your competitor is not on any e-commerce website but they dare put top 100 on their website itself. You can know what they're selling weekly. So you know the global trend, you know what your competitors are selling, you can actually do something to them, silently without them knowing. And the fifth one is uh, product ingredient. So for the product ingredient, any one of you who's actually sell food, you can actually know what is actually the product ingredient of the top 10 merchants or 100 merchants overseas as well. Okay? So, uh, I'll end by this quote that is actually from uh, Sun Tzu Out of War. Keep your customer close, keep your competitors closer. Thank you so much. I'm Jared from Catalytics Star. Any questions?